Ever wondered about the difference between homeowners and landlord insurance? Perhaps you found yourself scratching your head over insurance jargon, or maybe you're simply curious about whether one offers more coverage than the other. These are common questions, and they deserve clear, concise answers. We believe that understanding insurance shouldn't be a complicated maze. So, if you've ever pondered over this topic, you've landed right. Today we're going to delve into the differences between these two types of insurance. First off, let's tackle homeowner's insurance. Imagine a shield, a barrier that stands between you and the potential financial loss related to your home. That, my friends, is the basic concept of homeowner's insurance. It's a safety net designed to keep your wallet safe when life decides to throw a curveball straight at your home. Now let's dissect this a little further. What exactly does homeowner's insurance cover? Picture your home, the structure itself, any damage to it, be it from a fire, a storm, or even a pesky uninvited tree branch, is typically covered by your policy. This means that if Mother Nature decides to flex her muscles or an accidental fire charcoals your kitchen, your homeowner's insurance steps in to cover the cost of repairs or even rebuilding. But wait, there's more. Your homeowner's insurance also extends its protective umbrella over your personal property. So, if your brand new flat screen TV meets an untimely end due to a lightning strike, or if a burglar decides to make off with your antique jewelry, your policy will typically cover the cost of replacement. One more thing to add to the mix is liability coverage. Accidents happen, and sometimes they can happen on your property. Maybe a guest trips over a loose carpet and breaks a bone or your dog decides that the mailman's leg looks like a chew toy. If you're held legally responsible, your homeowner's insurance can help cover the medical bills or legal expenses. These are just the basics, of course. Every policy has its own ins and outs, and it's crucial to understand your coverage fully. But hopefully, this gives you a clearer picture of what homeowner's insurance is all about. So in a nutshell, homeowner's insurance is your shield against potential financial loss related to your home. Now, on to landlord insurance. Landlord insurance at its core is a financial safety net for landlords. It's like homeowner's insurance, but it's tailored specifically for those who own rental properties. Its main aim? To protect landlords from unexpected costs that may arise in the course of renting out their properties. So, what exactly does it cover? Well, first off, landlord insurance covers property damage. This includes damage to the building itself, whether from natural disasters like hurricanes or tornadoes, or from other unfortunate events like fire or vandalism. If a storm rips off your roof or a tenant accidentally starts a fire in the kitchen, landlord insurance has got you covered. But property damage is just one piece of the puzzle. What if you can't collect rent because your property is uninhabitable due to said damage? This is where a loss of rental income coverage comes in. It compensates landlords for the rental income they'd otherwise lose while their property is being repaired. So, if a fire makes your rental unit unlivable for a couple of months, your insurance can cover the rent you would have collected during that time. Now, let's talk about liability protection. As a landlord, you're exposed to a variety of risks. A tenant could slip and fall on your property, or maybe a faulty appliance could cause injury. If something like this happens, you could be held legally responsible. Liability protection under your landlord insurance policy helps cover legal and medical costs if you're found liable for an injury that occurs on your property. Also, it's worth noting that many landlord insurance policies offer optional coverage for things like legal assistance and deliberate damage caused by tenants. It's all about tailoring the policy to your unique needs and risks as a landlord. In summary, landlord insurance is all about protection. It's about safeguarding your investment and your finances from the many risks that come with being a landlord. It covers property damage, compensates for lost rental income, and offers liability protection. Essentially, landlord insurance is designed to protect landlords from financial losses related to their rental properties. Now that we know what each insurance covers, it's time to compare them side by side. At first glance, homeowners and landlord insurance may seem similar. After all, both are designed to protect property owners from financial losses. But if we delve deeper, we find there are distinct differences between the two. Let's start with the types of coverage. Homeowners insurance typically covers the structure of the home, personal property, liability protection, and additional living expenses. This means if a tree falls on your roof, or if your belongings are stolen, homeowners insurance has got you covered. It also provides liability protection in case someone gets injured on your property. And if your house becomes uninhabitable due to a covered loss, it will even pay for your temporary living expenses. 
On the other hand, landlord insurance primarily covers the dwelling, loss of rental income, and liability protection. It won't cover your tenant's personal belongings, but if a fire damages your rental property, it will pay for the repair or rebuilding costs. If the property becomes uninhabitable, it will compensate for the lost rental income. And like homeowner's insurance, it also provides liability protection. Now, let's talk about cost. Generally speaking, landlord insurance is more expensive than homeowner's insurance. This is because rental properties are often seen as higher risk. Tenants might not treat the property with the same care as an owner would, and with more people coming and going, the chance of accidents or damages increases. So, who needs which type of insurance? Well, if you live in your own home, homeowner's insurance is for you. It provides comprehensive coverage for your dwelling and personal property. But if you own a property that you rent out to others, landlord insurance is the way to go. It covers the unique risks associated with having tenants. As for the applicability of each type, homeowner's insurance is applicable whenever you're living in the property you own. If you're gone on a two-week vacation, your homeowner's insurance is still in effect. But if you're planning to rent out your home for more than a few weeks a year, you'll likely need landlord insurance. Landlord insurance is applicable whenever you have tenants. Whether it's a full-time rental property or just a vacation home you rent out when you're not using it, landlord insurance provides the coverage you need. In conclusion, both homeowners and landlord insurance provide valuable coverage for property owners, but they are tailored to different situations and needs. Homeowners insurance is designed for people living in their own homes, while landlord insurance is designed for those who rent out their properties. As we can see, while both types of insurance serve to protect property owners, they cater to different needs and situations. All right, let's recap the key differences between homeowners and landlord insurance. Firstly, homeowners insurance primarily caters to individuals who live in their own homes. It's designed to protect these homeowners from financial loss due to damage to the property or its contents from unforeseen events like fires, storms, or theft. Additionally, it usually includes liability coverage, which protects homeowners in case someone gets injured on their property. On the other hand, landlord insurance is a specific kind of policy designed for those who own property and rent it out to tenants. It typically covers the building itself and any furnishings owned by the landlord within the property. Importantly, it does not cover the tenant's personal belongings. That's where renter's insurance steps in. Now, on to the differences. While both types of insurance cover property damage, the extent and nature of the coverage can vary significantly. Homeowner's insurance generally covers a wider range of perils, including personal belongings, while landlord insurance focuses more on structural damage and loss of rental income. Loss of rental income, that's an exclusive feature of landlord insurance. If a covered event makes the rental property uninhabitable, the insurance can compensate for the loss of rent during the repair period. That's something homeowner's insurance won't cover. Liability coverage is another key difference. While both policies provide some level of liability protection, landlord insurance often includes more comprehensive coverage. This is to protect landlords from potential legal and medical costs if a tenant or visitor gets injured on the property. Lastly, the cost. Landlord insurance is typically more expensive than homeowner's insurance. This is primarily because landlords face higher risks, especially when it comes to potential property damage and legal issues. But let's not forget, insurance isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. The right policy for you depends on your unique situation and needs. Consider factors like the type of property you have, where it's located, and your financial capacity to handle potential losses or legal issues. And there you have it, the key differences between homeowners and landlord insurance. Remember, the right insurance depends on your specific needs and circumstances. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.